Hey guys, it's Hollerita. If you are new here, welcome. And I hope that you will stick around. And if you do, you can hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. I do on my channel hauls. I do craft videos. I do basically whatever I want to do. So I'm just kind of random. But I do a lot of hauls. And today I have a rather large Walmart haul. And I can't find my receipt right off hand. So I'm not digging for it because I need to get this done so I can put the cold stuff up. And the dog and the cat are going to be over here arguing. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't remember prices on everything I do remember prices on some but I want to show you this coffee mate peppermint mocha is my absolute favorite coffee creamer so you can only find the big bottles around Christmas so I was lucky today and I found two of the smaller bottles and I believe these were $2.48 a piece Gonna set my cold stuff over to the side. I am sitting in my living room with my coffee table packed. I picked up two cans of the Great Value Cinnamon Rolls. There are eight in a container, and I'm thinking about doing the TikTok cinnamon roll challenge thing. So pick those up, and I want to say these were a dollar fifty four, something like that. I also picked up two of the um, Great Value Crescent Rolls because they're way cheaper. These are the Flaky and Butter. There's eight in a container. And again, these were probably $1.50, 60 something like that. Maybe a little more. I just know the brand name is expensive. And I also picked up some Great Value Jumbo Biscuits. There's eight of these. And I was going to get a small container of the Pillsbury Grands, like that only has five in it, because really that's what we kind of need. But these were almost cheaper than buying the five of the Pillsbury. So, yeah, just give me eight biscuits. I'll eat them later. I picked up the Bar S Thick Bologna, which was like $1.48. I know it's probably a little more expensive than some of the other stores. I didn't want to go to another store. Picked up this Oscar Mayer ham and cheese. Neil likes this. So, I'm not crazy about it, but I can eat it. And this was like $3.40 something. Used to be way cheaper than that. And today is his birthday. He's almost at a halfway mark, y'all. He hit 49 today. So anyway, I picked up some Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar because we're probably going to grill today or tomorrow. And um, these are delicious. I love these. I also picked up a package of the Ballpark Bun Size Franks, 16 of them, and it was like $6 and something. Yep, yeah, I spoiled him on his birthday. I also picked up a package of the Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Rotisserie Seasoned Chicken Breast. This is the eight, 9 ounce. This is the 9 ounce. I really love this stuff on a sandwich. So, it was like $4 and something. Like I said, I can't give you exact prices, but I can be close. This is the Kobe Jack Shredded Kobe Jack Monterey Cheese. It's the Great Value brand. It is 2 pounds, which equals 8 cups. And we use a lot of shredded cheese, so... I just got the big bag. Believe it or not, I bought some eggs. Y'all know I just been fussing about these egg prices. These were $2.48 for a dozen, which was like 70 cents cheaper than Save a Lot. So, uh, yeah, I just went ahead and grabbed some because even if you go to Dollar Tree and you buy two half dozens, that's $2.50, which is the same price as this, but these are large and Dollar Trees are medium. So I went ahead and picked a dozen of those up because, God, you use eggs and so much. So I bought this heavy whipping cream. I like this in my coffee too, but I mostly bought it because I'm thinking about doing that TikTok challenge with the cinnamon rolls. Oh, sorry, babe. Neil's putting up stuff. I think that's all the cold. No. Nope. Um, I got a gallon of milk. It was like three forty-eight, and Prairie Farms milk was six dollars and something for a gallon. Um, no. I'm going to buy me some great value milk. 
And like I said, I think it was three forty-eight. Picked up Neil some Sunny D. This is a big one. This is the gallon one, and it's in the smooth orange. And he he likes the Sunny D, so I do too occasionally. And uh, I believe this was it was three something, maybe three sixty or something like that. I don't know. While these are sitting here, I'll just go ahead and show you. I got me some staples for my stapler. Because I've had a stapler and I don't have no staples. That ain't serving much purpose, is it? I think these are like two ninety six or something like that. I don't know. There's 5,000 staples in there. That would last a while. Picked up two um, Mr. Pibbs. These were $1.38. And I do remember specifically looking at those. That's why I know the price. They did not have any of the Dr. Sunder in 2 liter. None. Zilch. Zero. Not even the cherry. So I thought, well, these are um, $1.38. I'll just go ahead and get a couple of these. So I picked up two Mr. Pibbs. Because I like Mr. Pibb as well as I do Dr. Pepper. Actually, I prefer Dr. Mr. Pibb, but they're harder to find. I picked up some corn chips, the Great Value brand. Because I'm not paying $3.48 for some Fritos. These were like $1.68 or something like that. I don't remember. But for Frito chili pie or something, yeah, these work. We had Frito chili pie at work yesterday, y'all. It's so good. Picked up a thing of the sour cream and chives mashed potatoes from the Idahoan brand. We like this brand, and it's pretty much the only brand I like. And I only want flavored ones. I don't want plain ones. That was like a dollar twenty-four. Picked up some sweet and salty kettle corn in the Great Value brand. I want to say this was a dollar forty-eight. It is a seven ounce bag. I love kettle corn. I love it. This is Popcorn Indiana Black and White Fudge Drizzle. This was $1.98. It's a six ounce bag. And I've never tried this before, so this will be a tried out Thursday video. Hopefully this week. I'm trying to do better, y'all. I promise. I'm trying. Went ahead and got a big value size, 60% more than our 30 ounce. This is a 48 ounce Miracle Whip. Now, usually I get the generic, but I don't, I don't know. I thought I'd just get a big bottle of Miracle Whip this time. Treat my own day gum self. This was six forty eight, I believe. That'll last me a good while, too. I don't need a lot of sandwiches. Um, picked up a thing of Hamburger Helper for maybe a meal this week. The double cheeseburger macaroni. You like that kind, I do too, so I just thought, why not? That was like a dollar forty eight, something like that. Everything was a dollar forty eight or fifty eight or sixty, it seemed like. Or two something, whatever. Y'all, I am a peanut butter snob. And I have to have Jif. If I'm going to eat peanut butter, I want Jif. So, you know, they had the recall. And I sure didn't even look at the one I had at home. I still finished that jar up. And I ain't dead and I didn't get sick. This is the only size they had. The only size. This is the 16 ounce jar. And I don't even remember how much it was. It could have been $5 a jar and I wouldn't have cared because I was buying it. I'd have put something else back to bought it. So I bought two of them. So I have me some peanut butter for a minute. I can't help it. I'm a peanut butter snob and I really am. Y'all know these are my favorite if you've watched any of my past wall bar hauls, I love these. These are $1.78. And you know they used to be $1.50. Two boxes. Because I take these to work. And sometimes I just want to snack something sweet. They they work. Get that off the table now. I have my wet stuff on it. I picked this up a Slim Jim a piece in the original. This is the big, the bigger one. 14 grams of protein. Yeah. We like these. Just I just got it for a treat, for a snack, whatever. Y'all, this was a splurge. Happy birthday, Neil. I bought him a 12-pack of the Monster Energy. These things are almost 20 bucks. But, he has them. He can take them with him because he's on the road now on his job. So, he's on the road daily. And he ha usually has at least one of these a day, sometimes two. But 
we ain't gonna get into all that. So I bought a 12 pack. So hopefully that, and it's, it's cheaper to do it that way than it is to just keep buying them single or going to the dollar general and getting them for $7 for four. So seven times four would equal this 12 pack. If you bought four of the six, four of the four packs, no, you'd get 16. Anywho, I don't know. It's like $21, so this is a little cheaper. Don't don't make me do no math, y'all. Picked up some hamburger buns. I didn't get any hamburger meat yet because I don't buy meat at Walmart usually, unless it's lunch meat or something. I usually get that from my local grocery store. For one, it's cheaper. For two, I like it better. I picked him up some inner, uh, the Great Value Energy Great, naturally flavored, um... And it has caffeine in it. And there's 10 in there. And I want to say these were $1.97 or something like that. $1.94, I think. And he likes the grape flavor. So I just went ahead and picked him up some of those for his waters. I've got several packages of different kinds. But he likes grape best. So why not? Picked up some Nutty Buddies. And I believe these were like $2.48. They say $2.59. So they're a little bit cheaper at Walmart. I don't want to say over $2.48 or $2.49, like $0.10 cents off or something. Y'all, I remember when these were $0.99. Cents. I am so, I am so disturbed over these prices. I'm just, it irritates the devil out of me. Picked up a big thing of Heinz ketchup. Not the biggest thing you can get. This is 2 pounds, 6 ounces, 38 ounces. This is really our favorite ketchup. Kind of a ketchup snob, too. So, this is what we like. This is what I bought. I can live with some other ketchups. He's not so much a fan. So, you know, like I said, it's his birthday. I'm treating him. Pick these up. Rinda. Hey, Rinda. She always sings. Holla Rita. Holla Rita. Holla Rita. Holla Rita. If I get on her live streams, I'll leave a link to her channel down below if you want to check her out. She does a lot of live streaming. Um, she's super sweet. Been friends with Rinda for a long time. And she said, girl, you need to get them at Walmart. So, Rinda, I got some. Six chocolate, six vanilla. He likes chocolate, I like vanilla. Perfect. I think they were like, I don't know, three something. Loaf of bread, the Walmart brand, the great value, and I know it's upside down, but it's still cheaper than Save a Lots, because I don't even remember what this one costs, but like a dollar forty something. And this really is Neil's <coughs> part of his birthday present. I got him. Um, a sketch pad. It's mixed media. 60 sheets in here. And, uh, if y'all don't know, he can draw. He doesn't do it a lot because of some of the pain he has, but, and he has to really just be in the mood to do it, but I wanted him to have something nice because he did mention drawing a sketch of our little Thomas that we don't have anymore. And, uh, so I wanted some good paper because we're going to frame it. So, yeah, I wanted him to have some good paper. And so I got that. It was like $8, I think. It's, it's really good, thick. Um, let's see if it says. It says 98 pound, and it's a 9 by 12 size. So, anywho, that's part of his birthday present. For real. Not all this other stuff I'm just teasing about. Picked up some tortillas. Don't even know why. But we had some breakfast tortillas here a while back. That sucker, we're good. So we might have to have that for tomorrow or something. I don't know. I just picked them up because we always use tortillas. And I just got these because they are cheaper than all the rest. <laughs> I splurged. Oh, oh, there they are. Ding-dongs and Twinkies. <laughs> Anywho, these are like Three dollars and something a piece too. But I actually I love these. But I thought about making a Twinkie cake. Has anybody ever had a Twinkie cake before? Leave me some comments and tell me if you've had Twinkie cake before. It is so good. So I thought about making one. That's kind of why I got the Twinkies. And I just seen the ding dongs and got them too. Pick these up because this is our this Marachon or whatever how you pronounce it. I picked up a thing of the ramen noodles, uh, beef flavor, 12-pack. They're less than $2, like $1.78 or something. I don't even know. But we like them occasionally. Just, you know, 
since I got him monsters, I picked me up a, a monster Java. These are my favorite, the mean bean. I like the salted caramel too, but the mean bean's my favorite. This sucker was two dollars and fifty cents. Used to be like a dollar ninety-eight at Walmart. Got me a cantaloupe. Just because I love it and he don't. And I can eat the whole thing by myself. So yeah. Bought me some cantaloupe and fixing to go cut this up here shortly. Love it with some salt. It was two something, like two fifty. They had Lay's chips, two fifty a bag. Y'all, they've been being like four dollars and fifty cents a bag. Let's see what it says on here. Yeah, four fifty nine is what they normally are Lay's priced. And I'm not paying that much for chips. I've seen them for two fifty, so I got. Some dill pickle and some barbecue. I love the dill pickle ones, and he likes the barbecue. He's not a big chip eater, so I eat both kinds. I have to have some chips. Y'all, I was hungry. Picked up Little Miss Cookies, some Temptations kitten treats. They're crunchy on the outside with soft on the inside. These are the chicken and dairy flavor mega <coughs> package. 6.3 ounces. Don't remember, $3 and something. And this is kitten pate. See, it's two different containers, so she'll only eat one container at a time. And we just give her that as a treat. Not, you know, she doesn't eat this all the time. She eats dry kitten food. Gotta keep them teeth sharp so she can bite on us. <laughs> and it was less than a dollar. I don't remember. Picked up three Pyrades. They didn't have a whole lot of flavors, so I just got the orange, blue, and the red. And they were 88 cents, I believe. Pick up a big, excuse me. Burping on camera, what in the world? I'm rude. Uh, what is this? Eight pounds, 10 pounds. 10 pounds of uh, sugar, it was 5.34. We're almost done, y'all. Big old box of Honey Nut Cheerios just because we both like them and sometimes I like to eat cereal. So, bought those. They were $5. And some odd cents. I don't remember. This really is like for his birthday treat. He freaking loves Cracker Barrel mac and cheese. So, it's $3 and something a box and I don't normally want to spend that. It's a splurge for us. But since it's his birthday, I thought I'd splurge and get it. Um, one of them is sharp white cheddar, the top one, and the other one is just sharp cheddar. I am going to assume this is good. I don't think I've had this one. I have had this one, and this really is good mac and cheese, y'all. If you hadn't tried it, you need to. We're kind of mac and cheese snob, I guess. That's, that, that's just the best right there. I honestly have to say that. And then I just, since they didn't have two liter of Dr. Thunder, I just went ahead and picked me up a 12 pack. So, they were like $4, no, I don't know, probably close to $4 for a 12-pack. Shit, you used to go get the whole, whole case of them for $4 and something. Now, a whole case of them is almost 7 So, anywho, that's it, guys. Y'all seen my $190 Walmart haul. I was tired of not having no food, and I just... I decided I was going to have me some food, so I was hungry, and I bought too much. <laughs> but anywho, guys, that's all I got for you today. If you stayed till the end, I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Be sure you leave me a thumbs up. It's free. Be sure to leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you've tried the mac and cheese or if you've had a Twinkie cake. If you haven't had a Twinkie cake, I might do a video on that um, for a Whip It Up Wednesday or just whenever. But anywho, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hugs and love to all of you. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.